Last year, the NZTA consulted on two options to help stop a situation where three cyclists have died and 13 have been seriously injured in central Dunedin in the last decade. The most popular option, option one, provided separated cycleways through the central city but would have seen 284 car parks gone. Now the NZTA has come up with option 1A, allowing parking on both sides of the one way but a thinner footpath on the right, a cycle lane and an area so car doors can open without hitting cyclists. A change to a current setup that looks like this. It would also mean the loss of just 86 car parks. The option will go, with the other options, to a DCC Infrastructure Services Committee next week. We will be deciding whether we want to pursue business cases being developed for all of the options um, in order to address not only a cycle safety issue but a road safety issue for all users. Because I want to um, emphasise this isn't just about cyclists but truck drivers and car drivers can it, to an extent be considered victims if they're involved in an accident because the road network is not safe. A DCC NZTA working group prefers options 1 and 1A and the group has looked at a variety of possibilities. We looked at inner city as a whole. We didn't automatically go to the one way pair but that is where we ended up because one, that is where all, the, all four fatalities had been and also it was a clear route of choice and that is something that really came came out again and when we did our cycle surveys. Underwood was keen to point out the next stage would be more investigation and further consultation, particularly with property owners and tenants. But if government funding was granted and that work could be completed on time, construction could start as soon as mid to late 2015. David Lockray, 39, Dunedin News.